It is the day all Liverpool supporters knew would come eventually. At the start of next season, Jurgen Klopp will not be sitting in the Liverpool dugout. Instead, it will be someone else. But who? Just as it was when Alex Ferguson left Manchester United and Arsene Wenger left Arsenal, Klopp will be a hard managerial act to follow. His legacy is set in stone after leading Liverpool to domestic and European success and forming one of the greatest groups of players the club has ever had. Good luck to whoever is next. Here are the 10 favourites to become Liverpool's next manager. Julian Nagelsmann Bayern Munich binned Nagelsmann while he had a perfect Champions League record last season, having faced Inter Milan, Barcelona and Paris Saint-Germain while sitting a point off the Bundesliga summit after replacing Robert Lewandowski with Eric Maxime Chupo moding That doesn't feel like a sackable offense. The DFB thought not and offered him the Germany national team job, but only until after the European Championships. There would still be a general cynicism and distrust over his fashion sense and obsession with nerdy tactics and such. Klopp praised Nagelsmann when he was appointed as Germany's manager and labeled him a great coach. Likelihood rating, 2 over 10. Steven Gerrard. There was a time when Gerrard would have topped these types of lists, but the last couple of years have not been kind to Liverpool's legendary former captain. After his title-winning turn at Rangers, Gerrard's experience at Villa was a chastening reality check for anyone who thought he was already at the front of the speeding boarding queue for Anfield. The 43-year-old was practically booed out of Villa Park after a dirge of a start to the 2022-2023 season. Taking a job in the Saudi Pro League rather than sticking around for a shot at redemption in Britain or Europe has not shortened Gerrard's odds of succeeding Klopp, but his status at the club means he will always be in the conversation, just nowhere near the center of it anymore. Likelihood rating, 2 over 10. Simon Inzaghi. This is Inter Milan statistics. Under Simon Inzaghi, since the start of 2021-2022, Champions League finalists, twice Coppa Italia winners, thrice Supercoppa winners. Rarely is a head coach with that kind of trophy cabinet readily available. But such is the notorious instability with Inter and Serie A more broadly, that he has not had his contract extended beyond summer 2025. The sticking part is tactical. Inzaghi always plays a 3-5-2, as he in his previous job at Lazio. But his interside have become increasingly adaptable. This style and shape could suit Liverpool's player profiles, particularly a wing-back role for Andy Robertson on the left. It could add sufficient midfield and defensive support to move Trent Alexander-Arnold inside permanently. Likelihood rating, 1.5 over 10. Thomas Frank. As close to home replacements go, Thomas Frank could be a shrewd and fairly realistic target to minimize the potential impact of wholesale tactical change. Unlucky to miss out on a nomination for Premier League Manager of the Season, in 2022-23, Frank remains one of the more underrated coaches in England's top flight. His Brentford side have been an impressive addition to the Premier League, finishing ninth last year despite their relatively limited resources, while playing an easy-on-the-eye, high-pressing style of football, often in a 4-3-3 formation. Sound like another team, you know? Frank's record against the big teams is very good too, with Brentford having been the only team to beat Man City home and away last season, while they've also taken impressive scalps against Man Ut and Liverpool. The former teacher is, however, untested at a higher level. Likelihood rating, 3 over 10. Thomas Tuchel. The man who followed Klopp at Mainz and Dortmund, Tuchel is now plowing his own path across Europe, having secured big jobs at PSG, Chelsea and Bayern. In terms of name recognition and top-level experience, there are few who compare in modern football. Tuchel has won league titles in two countries and reached two Champions League finals, winning one. A tactical nerd whose philosophy has many similarities to Klopp's when it comes to pressing and counter-attacking, there's a lot to like about Tuchel on paper. 
The downside, however, is that he is a notoriously demanding coach who has had some fairly spectacular fallings out with players and club chiefs. Since leaving Mainz in 2014, he has never lasted more than two years in a job, likelihood rating 4 over 10. Roberto De Zerbi The former Napoli midfielder turned unfashionable Sassuolo into one of Italy's biggest overachievers before a spell a promising spell at Shakhtar was cut short by the Russian invasion. It's at Brighton, though, where he has really earned admirers, succeeded Graham Potter and took the Seagulls to another level as they secured Europa League football last season, while making Graham Souness look a bit of a turnip. Preferring a 4-2-3-1, De Zerbi's Brighton are one of the Premier League's great possession sides, regularly controlling games with over 70% of the ball, while being largely press-resistant. His style of play has drawn lofty comparisons with Pep Guardiola and Klopp. Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola has claimed that De Zerbi has changed English football, a pretty big compliment from one of the greatest managers of all time. Likelihood rating, 4.5 over 10. Ange Postacoglu. This would be a tricky one. The former Celtic boss has only been at Tottenham Hotspur for eight months but has deservedly received huge praise for the job he has done. Spurs' style of play and mentality have both been completely revamped and all in the same season when they lost talisman Harry Kane to Bayern. Still, Postacoglu grew up in Australia as a Liverpool fan. He spent his childhood staying up late with his dad, whose favorite player was Kenny Dalglish, to watch them. The 58-year-old has breathed new life into a Tottenham side that looked well short of it last season. His use of inverted fullbacks to create overloads in central areas in his 4-3-3 system looks like an approach that could be replicated at Liverpool. He is under contract at Tottenham until 2027, but that needn't be that much of a barrier if club and manager both really wanted it. Likelihood rating, 5 over 10. Ruben Amorim. Regularly in the frame for any big job that comes up these days, the sporting Lisbon boss is a credible candidate despite being just 38. The former Portugal international won the Primera Liga in his first full season as manager at the Lisbon club, their first in 19 years, back in 2020-2021, and his side are leading the division once again this year. His attacking, progressive tactics have seen him earmarked as one of the continent's brightest young coaches, while he has helped develop talents like Joao Palhinha, Pedro Porro, and Mateus Nunes, as well as supposed current Liverpool transfer targets, Goncalo Inacio and Usman Diomande. He'll get a top job sooner or later. Might it be at Anfield? Has a buyout clause of 20 million euro, making it both a sporting release clause and a sporting release clause. Likelihood rating, 6 over 10. Unai Emery. Unfairly laughed at. In his time at Arsenal, Unai Emery's return to the Premier League has been an emphatic redemption story. He has taken a despondent, struggling Aston Villa side and made them title and Champions League qualification challengers in fewer than 12 months. Emery's credentials are tough to question, particularly in Europe where his expertise led Sevilla to three consecutive Europa League titles between 2013 and 2016, and more recently with Villarreal in the 2020-2021 season. Emery is well respected in coaching circles. He has improved players collectively and individually, sticking to a set of core principles and a tactical framework that can be tweaked depending on opposition and game state. He tends to favor a 4-2-3-1 or 4-4-2 system and wants his side to play fluid, attacking football with constant movement and combinations. Likelihood rating, 6.5 over 10. Zabi Alonso. It's a perfect fit. Surely, almost too perfect. The ex-Liverpool midfielder is currently at the top of the Bundesliga with Bayer Leverkusen, lording it up over Bayern in the form of a two-point lead. If Leverkusen retain that advantage and end Bayern's 427-year-long reign as champions of Germany, there will be no better time to walk away. Alonso, who started his managerial journey at Real Sociedad, was also a heavy favorite for Real Madrid, when it seemed Carlo Ancelotti would be on his way at the end of the season. But he isn't. Klopp is. 
the Spaniard is under contract until 2026, though there were reports of a clause that allow him to walk away if any of his former clubs, Liverpool, Bayern or Real, came calling. The Reds will, won't they? Likelihood rating, 8 over 10. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bells for more video on your favorite sport. Until the next one, please stay tuned.